Hey, what is going on YouTubers? It's Roman Place here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to reinstall your Windows 10 operating system without a installation disk or without a flash drive and without a recovery drive. You pretty much don't even need anything for this to work. Um, and this will pretty much work for any Windows 10 computer, whether you have a Windows 10 Home, a Windows 10 Professional, or any Windows 10 version that you may have that you want to reinstall. And let me give you an example. So you go into, you, you know, you're trying to reinstall your Windows 10 and you realize that uh, some computers may not have the recovery drive, you know, that's pre-installed onto the computer. And if yours don't, if you try to reinstall it, it's going to, it probably, it's probably going to ask you that you need to have a recovery drive to continue. Or, or it's my, or it might uh, just going to say that you need, that you need uh, an installation disk or an installation flash drive to continue. But don't worry. Let's just say you don't have any of those and you're going to say to yourself, well, how do you reinstall Windows 10 without any of those? And it turns out there's an actual way to just reinstall Windows 10 without a, an installation disk or a flash drive and without a recovery drive. So basically, you don't, you don't even need anything. You pretty much just need your, uh, your, your computer to just reinstall Windows 10. And by the way, you guys, uh, doing this method will not only reinstall Windows 10, but it will also clean out the hard drive as well. So this is pretty much a better method to do. Than just doing, you know, the uh, uh, than just doing the original reinstallation, you know, through your settings app and doing it that way, uh, because pretty much the way how we're how we're gonna do it is we're gonna clean out your hard drive as well. So that's also a good thing too. So your hard drive may be faster as as usual once after your Windows 10 is reinstalled. And by the way, you guys, uh, just to make sure, I know everyone knows about this, but I'm just gonna say this anyways. Uh, after you know your reinstallation, all your data that you did not back up will be lost afterwards. So if you have any data that you want to keep, such as your pictures, documents, videos, or your apps, make sure you do back them up before you restore them. Because if you don't, once after your Windows 10 is reinstalled, you won't be able to recover them afterwards unless you back them up. So just letting you know that. And also, by the way, you guys, this is a step-by-step -step, uh, guide, so make sure you do follow every step on this guide correctly and don't skip anything. Alright, so without further ado, let's just get right onto the video. So the, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go online, and you, I'll, like I said, I'll put this link in the description below. You want to go onto this Microsoft website, and you want to go ahead and download the Windows 10 installation media. And the reason why I do recommend you, you download it from this website is because it, it downloads the latest version of the Windows 10 installation media and it's safer to use that way. So you just go ahead and click on the download tool now button and then once that's downloaded you want to go to this other website which I'll, I also put in the, the link in the description as well. You want to go ahead and download this ecbcd.zip file which oh, that only takes a minute for it to be downloaded. Then after that you pretty much just want to unzip it and install it and then once that's done too. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, once you have those two installed, you just want to go ahead and just close out the internet. And you're pretty much just going to have these two programs. One is EasyBCD and one is the Media Creation Tool. So the first thing you want to open is the Media Creation Tool. And you want to go ahead and click on Yes. And I just remember I just already had mine open. So once yours is already open, uh, I'm sorry, but once yours is open, you're going to see a window just like this. And like I say, you guys, make sure you do follow every step on this correctly and don't, don't like, make a mistake or don't skip anything. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on Accept. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Well, I do know by default, it's already going to have it selected to upgrade this PC now. You don't want to have that selected. Instead, you just want to select the create installation media for another PC selected. Because if you have the upgrade this PC now selected, it's not going to work. So make sure you, you select the create installation media for another PC. And you just go ahead and click on next. And it's going to ask you uh, to choose the available options. I highly recommend you don't change it, so just leave this checkbox checked to use the recommended options. So just go ahead and click on next. And it's going to ask you to choose which media you want to use. Uh, you have to choose the ISO file. If you choose the USB flash drive, it's not going to work. So you need to have the ISO file selected. And you just want to go, go ahead and click on next. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. So you can pretty much save it anywhere you want, but I do hi highly recommend it you save it to your desktop. That's where I saved mine. And you just go ahead and click on save. Now, I've already saved mine, so I'm not going to do it again. But once yours is saved, it is pretty much going to download the ISO file. And depending on your internet speed, it may take a while for it to be downloaded. And then once it's done, it's pretty much just going to close out the, the, uh, the creation tool. And then once it's done, you pretty much have it installed. 
So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it up. And then once you open it up, you're going to see all these files like this. Now, now don't touch any of these files just yet. We just want to make sure that you have the, the DVD drive active. Because we're going to do that. We're going to do something with that in a little bit. So you want to make sure that's active and make sure you're able to open up the ISO and just see, see all the content inside of it. And so once you do, you just go and just uh, close out of that. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on your start menu and you want to click on disk management. And then once it opens, uh, you want to find your primary hard drive, which is your C drive in parentheses. And then where and now you don't want to you don't want to click on your system reserve drive. You want to find the hard drive where your Windows is on. So you want to right click uh, where your primary hard drive is. You know with the blue box that's on top of it. You just want to go ahead and right click anywhere on that, and you want to click on shrink volume. And just give it a minute here. Okay, so you might see a notice where it says you cannot shrink a volume beyond this point. That's okay. Um, I do highly uh, recommend that you do not change this. Uh, you can if you want, but but if you if you absolutely don't even know what what all of this is, uh, just leave it alone. You just go you just go and click on shrink. Uh, it's highly recommend to leave that alone because Windows uh, gives you the recommended amount of space uh, you want for your recovery drive. So once it's done, you see the, uh, no, I'm sorry, once it's done, you're going to see this unallocated space. So you go ahead and right click on that and click on new simple volume. And it's going to take you to the new simple volume wizard, so you just go and click on next. Click on next, and uh, like I said, don't change that, and you click on next again. And then on the volume label, I do, I do recommend you change this to something, just so you know what it is. Um, I'm just going to name mine uh, Wind Recovery, just so you know that's your recovery drive. So I'm gonna name mine Win Recovery. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, just as long as you know what it. Uh, just, long as, just as long as you know that is your recovery drive, and make sure the uh, the performer quit format uh, checkbox is checked. And you're just gonna go ahead and click on Next, and you will go ahead and click on Finish. All right. Now once it's done, you will see the Win Recovery, and then once you see that, you're pretty much done. So you can just go and click out, click out of disk management. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and um, make sure you have two file explorers opened at, uh, simultaneously, like, like two of them opened. And on one side of it you want to go ahead and open up your Win Recovery Drive that we just created. And you want to go ahead and open up your DVD drive, the one that has the uh, Windows uh, ISO file in it. Then you want to do is you want to go ahead and select all of the content that's on it just by doing that. You can pretty much just uh, click on, uh, like just click and drag all the files like that, or you can pretty much just hold down Control A, too as well. Uh, just whether, just whether one. Uh, just make sure that all of these uh, files are selected, all of them, and then you would just want to go ahead and just like just drag it and just drop it. It's pretty much, it's pretty much just going to copy to it, but it doesn't matter. And it just may take a while for it to go through. So, uh, so. Uh, it may take about 45 seconds. Okay, so this may take a while for it to go through, but like I so, said, uh, I'll come back once this is done. Alright, so everything's done now. Alright, so we're just going to do a refresh. Okay, perfect. So now we got everything copied from the ISO file to the recovery drive. Now once you're done with that, you can pretty much just close out of these two. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up ECBCD. And you just want to go and click on Yes. And you're pretty much going to see a, a, a little window, just like this. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on Add New Entry and click on Win PE, and then you want to go and click on this folder with the magnifying glass that's right next to the path, you just want to click on that. Then you want to go ahead and find your recovery drive, right here. And then, oh, by the way guys, make, don't, don't click on the DVD drive where your ISO file is, just click on the Win recovery drive. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and, and click on resources, double click on, re, on sources. And then you want to find the boot.wim file, and you just want to go ahead and click on open. And you just want to click on this green plus, uh, this green plus sign, right here. 
And then at the bottom, if, if it's done, it will say it's been added to the boot menu, boot menu successfully. That means it's done. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go and click on Edit Boot Menu. Then where it says the NST when PE uh, when PE image that we just created, you want to double click on that and just name it whatever you want, just so you know that's going to be your recovery drive. So I'm just going to name it the same thing. I'm just going to name it Win Recovery. Oh, uh, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name that uh, for mine. And you just go ahead and click. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You just want to go ahead and press on Enter once you're done. And then after that, you just go ahead and click on Save Your Settings. And then once it saves, select. Now once it says it's saved success successfully, that means you're done. And that's it. All your computer just close out of this. Now the last thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and restart your computer. And then once you restart your computer, you are going to see a boot menu instead of instead of being a boot up instead of being boot up into your Windows 10 system. You're going to see a boot menu where it's going to ask you if you want to boot up into your Windows 10 operating system or your Windows 10 recovery. And you do want to select your Windows 10 recovery because if you select your Windows 10, it's pretty much going to take you back to here. So we're going to do that right now. And by the way, you guys, once we go into the Windows 10 recovery. All of your data will be lost, so pretty much at this point, this is pretty much going to be the last time you're going to like uh, see your Windows 10 operating system at this point. So you're going to go ahead and click on Restart, and just restart anyways, I forgot to close that, but don't worry about that. Okay, so while it's restarting, you might going to you might going to see the Windows uh, logo and see the circle spinning. But it's not going to boot up into your Windows system. It's going to take you to a boot menu, and I'm going to show you what you need to do from there. Okay, so it's going to ask you to choose an operating system. It's going to choose Windows 10 or Win or Win Recovery. You want to click on the Win Recovery, and like I said, if you click on Windows 10, it's going to take you back to the uh, to uh, Windows 10. So you don't want to do that. You want to click on the Win Recovery. All right. So now now it's going to go ahead and boot up again, and then you're going to see a different screen this time. I'm going to show you what you need to do from there. Alright, so you're going to see a purple screen. And then here you go. So you're going to see a pop-up just like this. Uh, you're just going to leave all of this alone. And you're just going to click on Next and Install Now. And it's going to say Set Up the Starting, so just give it a minute. Give it quite some time. Okay, so you may see this pop up. Uh, if you don't, just don't worry about this. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes if you do see this pop up, um, this is pretty much just because the Windows setup might not be able to find your product key. But don't worry, because once your Windows 10 will be reinstalled, it will automatically find the product key from there. It's just that sometimes the Windows installation media may not be able to find it on its own. So if that happens, you just go and click on I don't have a product key, even though you do. But don't worry, because once your Windows 10 is reinstalled. And connected to the internet, it will automatically find it from there. And it's going to ask you which operating system you want to install. Uh, you can pretty much choose. Uh, you have to choose the right operating system that you had on your previous Windows 10 operating system. Because if you don't, uh, what's going to happen is that it's not going to be able to activate your Windows operating system because you chose the wrong, uh, the wrong Windows 10 system. So you want to make sure you find the right Windows 10 system, which mine is a home. Now yours may not have that, but uh, yours may not have a. Uh, we were you able to select it, but if yours does, make sure you do find the right operating system for yours. So you just go ahead and click on next. Just give it a minute. And you just go ahead and just, uh, just accept the terms and just click on next. Now don't click on upgrade, you want to go and click on custom. Okay, now this is the tricky part. Now whatever you do, do not delete or format the Win Recovery Drive. The only thing you're only supposed to uh, format and delete is your system reserve and your drives you're part partitioned to. Just delete all of the drives you can, except the Win Recovery. You just want to leave that alone. Uh, you just want to go ahead and just uh, format your system reserve drive, and we we'll just go ahead and delete it. So just click on delete and click on OK. And then on drive zero partition one, you're going to go ahead and format that one, and click OK. And just click on delete. 
Okay, now you just go ahead and click on refresh just to make sure it's it's all good to go before we click on next. And make sure you do uh, download it on the unallocated space. Don't download it. Don't put it onto the Windows 10 recovery. And like I said before, uh, do not delete or format the Windows 10 recovery because if you do, you won't be able to reinstall Windows 10. Uh, you just only want to uh, you only want to install Windows on the unallocated space. So you just go ahead and click on next. And now at this point, it's pretty much going to reinstall Windows 10. And like I said, we, we've now successfully uh, cleaned out our hard drive. And so at this point, once Windows 10 is reinstalled, your hard drive is going to be all clean. You know, uh, a fresh, uh, clean installation of, of Windows 10. Just like you took it out of the box and turned it on for the first time. So this is going to take a while for it to install. But like I said, I'll come back once this is done. This may take about 5 to 10 minutes. All right, I'm back. So after five minutes of being all set up, we finally see the setup menu. Hi there, I'm Cortana. I'm gonna just go ahead and just uh, uh, just turn off Cortana, and here we go. So this is the setup. So this is pretty much what the setup looked like the first time when you turn on the computer. I'm not really, I'm not really gonna go uh, uh, that much of the setup because pre pretty much at this point your Windows 10 is all good to go. It's all reinstalled uh, and all clean and ready to go. I'm pretty much just gonna go to the setup just a little bit. But, but, but pretty, pretty much at this point, your Windows 10 is all, you know, ready to go. So once you got past through all the setup and, and all of it's done, you pretty much have a clean, you know, Windows 10 operating system. And you can go ahead and do whatever you want with it. You can reinstall your applications, documents, pictures, videos, everything like that. And it will be faster, too, because, uh, like I said, we cleaned out the hard drive, too, earlier. So that would help a lot. All right, you guys, um, and this setup has been a little bit so I do apologize about that. I do apologize about the setup being so. Yours won't have that. This is just probably because maybe this computer is a little bit old. But I'm just gonna get to the basics here. Yeah, but that's it. Uh, pretty much your uh, your Windows sentence is restored to factory defaults. Uh, it's all good to go. So yeah, you guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, please make sure you do leave a like. Uh, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am going to post more videos like this, so stay tuned. And yeah, uh, peace out, you guys.